Hi, Bill Schneider from Rapido Trains, Inc. Uh, like the rest of uh, the Rapido family, and in fact, I think most of us worldwide, we're all working from home now. Um, that doesn't mean that the factories have stopped working. The factories in China are producing things, and they just sent me a whole stack of samples of our new USRA 40-foot boxcar. And so we want to show you a little bit today of uh, what we have coming. These are actually on the water. They should be here very shortly. So they come packaged in our standard box, clamshell, and of course wrapped in protective paper. And here we are. This is a Minneapolis and St. Louis car. Uh, we'll show you some close-up images. Just a little background on these cars. There were 25,000 of these cars built um, between 1918 and roughly 1920. Uh, they were assigned to railroads around the country, and many of them lasted well into the 50s, and in fact, a few into the 1960s. Uh, there were some railroads like the Wabash, the New York Central, the Frisco, uh, and the Great Northern that had huge fleets of these. They were a big part of their fleet. So if you model anywhere from the 1920s to the 1950s, you need a bunch of these. So, with that in mind, let's see what else they sent us. Uh, let me get cleaned up here and I'll show you a little bit closer features. Okay, so let me show you uh, some of the variations and some of the details that we've included with the cars. Um, the Great Northern car here, this is very typical of the way that the cars would have been delivered. Um, they had stem winder handbrakes, most of which uh, kept that through their entire service life. Uh, Carmer cut levers, which is kind of an unusual uh, design. Of course, our model has completely uh, stand, freestanding grab irons, individual grab irons. Uh, this car has the KC brake system, which has the combined reservoir and cylinder. Um, in later years, many of these cars were upgraded and rebuilt with the AB system that most of us are familiar with, which is the three component system that we're, we're more used to seeing in modern freight cars. Um, all of the cars, <laughs> um, we've modeled both systems depending on the paint scheme um, so that you can have an accurate car for the time period that uh, you're modeling. A um, Couple other things to point out, they're running on USRA Andrews trucks. They have our turn metal wheel sets with dished backs, which I'm very happy with. Uh, our McDonald Cartier uh, magnetic couplers. These are uh, magnetic couplers in their own box. It's a number five compatible box for anybody who wants to exchange out, or the box is easily removed with one uh, screw if you want to put your own uh, scale draft gear box on or somebody else's coupler. It's one of the fun things about being a modeler. Uh, we try to make our models as user-friendly as possible. Uh, we also offer, if we really want to upgrade these, we've got Code 88 wheel sets, too, that will drop right into these side frames. Those are available as a separate purchase on our website. A uh, couple neat cars to show you here. Um, TH&B was one of the uh, Toronto Hamilton Buffalo, was one of the last users of these cars. Uh, they actually painted two of them up to be used in merchandise service. This was one of them. They were painted the yellow. All of the others were boxcar red. Uh, we've done both versions. Uh, the other thing that TH and B did is they modified the ladders with uh, upright posts instead of just grab irons on the side, and we've done that on these cars as well. You'll notice looking around that there are no two cars that are exactly the same color. We have some with black roofs, some with black roofs and ends, some with black hardware. Um, different shades of boxcar red. Uh, we spent a fair amount of time trying to get these paint schemes as accurate as possible. So the USRA cars are on the water. They've been shipped from our factory in China and they're on their way to the Toronto warehouse. Um, with the office shut down at the moment, um, we are doing our best to get orders out when they arrive. Obviously with the world situation changing on an almost daily basis, uh, we're not sure exactly what our ability will be when the cars arrive, so keep an eye on our Facebook page and our newsletters, and uh, we'll update you as quickly as possible when these cars arrive and let you know when you might see them at your dealers. Finally, uh, from all of us at Rapido and to all of our customers, fans, and uh, modelers everywhere, we hope that you're all doing your best to stay healthy and keep in mind that those of us who uh, 
have not been so lucky, in particular my friend Greg Martin, who is uh, battling hard with this disease, and we, we, we wish him a, a quick recovery. And uh, we all hope that you stay safe, don't go stir, too stir crazy while you're working at home, and uh, enjoy this time as much as you possibly can. And with that, I've got a little bit of time this afternoon, so I wonder if I can find something to read around here. Oh, well. Bye. Thanks.